deep and jump in Oh, oh, oh Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store, feastoffun.com slash store. On Cooking with Drag Queens, we love to combine recipes and flavors that result in a synergy that's truly outrageous. Yeah! <laughs> Today we're making a slab pie that combines three delicious desserts, vanilla cookies, cheesecake, and blueberry pies. Joining us is the mouth from the south, drag mama to all the children's, Nicole Page Brooks. It's Nicole Page Brooks from Atlanta, Georgia. I think of my look as everything a woman does multiplied times 10. I usually get pretty naked. I like my body and, <laughs> and I, you know, and I don't mind relying on it at all. I want to look like a woman. Don't consider myself a performance artist or a rah-rah, any of that stuff. I'm a female person. I've been raised in restaurants and hotels my whole life because my mother was in charge. So I love all food. I'll, I'll eat anything. I'll try anything. As long as it's not spicy. I don't do spicy. Now let's cook. Hey, oh, Nicole. Hey, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> I just met the neighbors. Yeah. How they how you doing? doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Are you Good. thirsty, honey? I am thirsty. Did you make the cocktail? I did I make you promised, a cocktail. I was promised some vodka. That's why mm -hmm. I'm here. And we have some delicious blueberries for you. One, mm, that's two, nice. three. They're blue because it's so cold here in Chicago right now. Why are you right so now? stingy with them? <laughs> that's nice. Mm -hmm, that's good. Good for your penile health. That's why we're doing this, right? Yeah. Oh, that. for our penile health. I what? didn't realize that. Blueberries are good for your dick? <laughs> yes, they How are. How so? I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't know that it's true because well, I did Google it. And it's, it's they're true. high in antioxidants, and so antioxidants are very good for, uh, you know, keeping things running smoothly. Yeah, and mm -hmm. fiber, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I don't have any problem with anything. So, Nicole Page Brooks, you're mm. known, uh, well known and loved from RuPaul's Drag Race se second season, right? Season two? Uh huh. My what? audition video was on season one, so technically I was on season one and season two. And, uh, and season one and episode 100. So, so people remember you from that challenge where you were uh, selling your cheap, was it your Coupons, cherry pie? Cherry pie. Cherry pie coupons. You were selling your cherry pie on the streets of WeHo, is yes, what you were doing. during rush like, hour. Eat my dress cherry like, pie. Just like a prostitute. <laughs> that is moment. How, how, how did you actually say it, though? It was like, wait till they taste. My cherry pie. My you want, you pie. Wanted, I think I was saying you want to taste, taste my cherry pie. I didn't really, I don't watch, I didn't. <laughs> I think I've only seen it like you one time. You kind of like have a little bit of a mental block with it because uh, we've discovered you actually hate cherries. You hate I cherry hate pies. Cherries. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like cherries at all, any in any way, shape, or form. Why no. don't you like is cherries? That, and is that I why I never have? No, is that why you got rid of your cherry at a young age? I didn't actually. I <laughs> held on to my cherry for a very long time. <laughs> well, your drag character, because your drag character is kind of. I mean. You're a little She's bit still a virgin in real life, but your drag character is a little... Nicole's a virgin. I don't know what these oh, are. Oh, I, listen, I've seen your act. Yeah, yes. do, do I want to I've show that? Uh, let's, let's roll on the tape let's here see a little and bit show Nicole Page Brooks on stage I doing think... this. A lot of blueberry pie filling has a lot of sweeteners and, sh and fillers and food colors and stuff that just doesn't taste very good. But you can make it at home with frozen blueberries. And it comes out looking really, and tasting really, really good. So you're gonna start with five cups of thawed blueberries, and you're gonna be our, is this a cooking school, so you're gonna be making it. So put that, that in there. Is that five cups? That's five real? cups yeah. pre-measured. There you go, just dump it all oh, yeah. in there. I should've wore white, why didn't I? We were working with blueberries, I should've. Right? <laughs> it would've been brilliant. Let me get you a spoon. And so you're gonna put uh, there, and you're gonna put some, a quarter cup of sugar. In there. Here, are you doing dishes? Yeah, I'll do Get dishes. on that, Lapita. 
Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to want to Today. get yourself a lemon, and you're going to wash it first to get, you yeah, know, stir that around a bit. the Toss skank it. off of it. Stir that, and we're going to zest about half of a lemon. And Shoot that Mark too, likes yeah. to do it, you like to do it in short you little You want bursts. little pieces. You don't want long strands in there, because it'll just get caught in your teeth. Okay, I'm burning all of this up. So you're going to want to squeeze <laughs> uh, a lemon. And usually, like, a, you want about a quarter cup of lemon juice freshly squeezed. So I'm going to squeeze that in here. And usually, like, one lemon. Woo! Woo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just sprayed all over my face. Uh, you want the bigger one? Let's give you the bigger one. I like this little one, though. You like the bigger one? Yeah. It's raining. Lemon you need the Mexicano one. Okay, so this is the uh, white people one. This is the Mexican one. That was racist. What? There are white people in Mexico too, actually. And this one goes in there. And they're both spraying all over the place. Yeah, but that one, because you, you quartered it. I don't know what person quarters those. Well, because I wanted it to I fit. Thinking the same thing. Right? You, you would like to. Like... So here's the here's the other version. Yeah. See. And see, it's see, harder what, what to get I would... the juice mm -hmm. out of it. I don't think see so. See how much harder it is? Well, also because you you kept the titty on there. You should have cut the titty off. Yeah, rip I the nipple the off. Rip that's that nipple I, right off. That's what I know. <laughs> Our poor camera person touched uh, themselves and be like, don't cut. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. So last time you were in town, and I think this was the last time, you bit off the nipple off somebody. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> well, requested for a nipple bite. I did not. Your friends pressured me into it. They They're pressured like, me her, into let it. Let her bite her nipple. What exactly happened? In I that don't incident? know. Yeah, why are you known as a nipple biter? What's up? You there's a picture. That, there's a picture from many years ago for, at a bar called La Buzz where I bit my friend Ian's nipple. He was just starting to work out and he's walking around with his shirt off or whatever. So I bit his nipple and it's like really pulled out or whatever. And then I got you the last time mm -hmm. I was here. And I, and I made you bleed, so that was the last yeah. nipple biting I've done. <laughs> I, because I don't want to go to jail for like assault or something because some <laughs> drunk person says, bite my nipple, and I'm like, Ugh. And I also don't want to be known for that. Right. Yeah. So, well, also, you know, too, I mean, I really didn't appreciate having to get rabies shot. Okay, so we're going to have a quarter cup of um, cornstarch, and we're going to take some of the juice. Is this still, is this too hot? It's hot. It's just boiling. You're crazy. Yeah. So we're going to add a it's little bit of water. It's currently boiling. It's the heater thing still on it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. And we're going to stir the cornstarch so it makes a little bit of a runny paste. They call it a slurry. And I'm going to pour this in slowly and you're going to stir it so it doesn't turn into clumps. Are yeah. you ready, NP? B get to pour. Don't pour real fast now. Don't get crazy. Dumping your, <laughs> dumping your cream into my berries. <laughs> <laughs> you boys, every time I'm around you, there's some sort of something going on. I think they're trying to have me. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, well, this is not this is not that kind of video, but <laughs> we can make it. What's be, happening? Okay, ready? Slow. Slow it. Just Stir it faster, faster, what? faster. Oh, really? Yeah. And so you can add more or less depending on how thick you like it. That looks like it's getting pretty thick. Yeah, it is okay. kind of getting kind of, it's resisting me. That's so it really kind of yeah, that's perfect. jellied up. And then so, you want to cook it for a little bit longer because you want to kind of cook that cornstarch. That looks real good, mm -hmm. honey. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> what does it sound like to you? Not nice stuff. Not good. <laughs> it sounds like it has indigestion. Something a southern woman wouldn't discuss. <laughs> so, so really, like blueberries are good for your dick? For your penile health. Are you allowed to say dick on your show? Do oh, you yeah. just talk any way? You can say schlong. It's YouTube. It's for your, Look, read the um, comments. The comments are filthier than the videos. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. See, I never read the comments either. They're people mean. This is pretty good. This is right. ready. It's a nice thickness. And this is something that you can do like ahead of time good the day before, thick. a couple hours, stick it in the fridge, get it cool. But since we kind of need it ready to go, we did, we're going to make a little ice bath. So what we've done is we okay. have this bowl, and it's all been chilled. So Nicole's gonna do this. She's gonna so pour it into the hot Into bowl. there, so we're gonna try and... I love how y'all have me doing all that manual labor bullshit. Oh, yeah. You'll just be watching. This is... Ah, be careful! Yeah. Cheat a little bit to that camera. Point it, come over this like there that. We there we go. Okay, yeah. This, yeah. Hey, this isn't difficult. Yeah, just like that, anything. Nicole. <laughs> Excuse me, let me pour this. Ooh. Ooh. 
I did it. Yay! And so the the coldness and the ice and the coldness of the mm -hmm. of the bowl is going to cool it mm -hmm. while we make our vanilla cookie. And it doesn't have to be super super cold. It just has to be not like piping hot, so that when we pour it on top of that cheesecake layer, it'll it'll be fine. So I'll put this back back over here to cool. Definitely being on RuPaul's Drag Race makes people perceive what what you do is more of a job and more legit and not just playing dress up in women's clothing and going to the bar and getting drunk online. My reason for auditioning for RuPaul's Drag Race was because I wanted my son to see me not just as a bar entertainer. I wanted him to know that I was at the top of my field and the best of the best and it just showed all the work that goes into it and it raised the respect level of what we do. I started in Oklahoma City February 22nd, 1995 as a dare. I mean, I've been doing it for 21 years. That's over, I mean, for half my life now. So hopefully you don't do something bad and get paid for it for 21 fucking years. So this is how we make the vanilla cookie part. So you're gonna uh, get oh, I yourself- I thought you were gonna have a little bit vanilla cookies. I was gonna crush them up or something. No, it's kind of, we're gonna make it homemade, man. Um. Homemade is so much better. So you're gonna get uh, three cups of all-purpose flour and mm -hmm. put it in the bowl. They really are making me fucking do this. Shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought it's I was a cooking coming... school. I know. I thought. I didn't... No, it doesn't say that on. The... It's not. It doesn't say cooking school. It doesn't say. Uh... Well, and we should probably like rename the show sugar. "Cooking School for Drag Queens." So that's one cup of sugar for people who are making this at home, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Do powder. a lot of people make your stuff at home? Absolutely. They do. Yeah. And they send us pictures. You know, uh, we love hearing from people. Either. Don't it. You can message us on YouTube, or if you want to email us at mail at feastoffun.com. Uh, we love seeing your... Uh, baking soda powder or what? what That's that? uh, one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I hate salt, but it's got to be in there. Yeah, it brings oh, yeah. out the flavors. It balances the sweet. Yeah. And then we have a cup of, of butter. Do you, have you ever cut butter into, uh, into stuff before? Have you ever done that? No. So that is... You're going to just push real Just hard. push on it. Push. Why didn't you have this out softening up? No, because you want, you it, want cold it cold and hard. Because what happens is like there's a reaction when it cooks. So you have the That's cold. That's all I'll do. you, honey. <laughs> so here you go. I don't have, Somebody those, needs to I don't have no big old manly here. arms, honey. <laughs> so you want to get ginger minge to lean in on that, but I can't get in on that. <laughs> it's so honey. funny because we did make something with ginger, and she was just like. <laughs> she, this oh, I bet here. she knows her way around the kitchen. I, that's who I want to feed. Here, guys. Feed me. Yeah. Oh. Get in there. Get in. Okay. So we are right now. So I want the butter cold. Yeah, you yes. want the butter nice and cold, and we're basically making like a pie crust. I never knew that. Why but was, this why? pie crust is more like a vanilla cookie, and we're gonna throw in an egg and a teaspoon of vanilla into this uh, when? thing. Later, just, later, after we do second. the crumb. So we want to get it crummy. And the great thing about the, the cold butter is, is the cold butter mixes with the flour. And so then yeah, when you put not, it in the oven, it, it, it kind of explodes. Yeah. So it makes it nice and uh, crispy. There you go. And you just and use it to, to... Now you can also, if you don't have a pastry blender, you can just use like knives or forks or mm -hmm. anything. But you don't want to get your hands in there because the heat of your hands is going to melt the butter. And so because mm -hmm. the butter's in the little particles, when it cooks, it gets flaky mm -hmm. and tasty. Mm. Yeah, this part's killing. Okay, I'll, do it. I'll do a little bit too. You do it? Yeah, I can do it too. Okay, so, so, so you're gonna... Oh, see? Do that. Do that. I wasn't doing that at all. And you're gonna or have... you can just buy the pie crust at the store pre-made and then just skip that Well, you can do a graham cracker crust on this. would be real good too. Mm. A lot of people like that. So we're gonna throw in a teaspoon of vanilla while he's mixing it. Isn't there. that what that shot glass is? No, yeah. the shot glass is a little bit of vodka. Let oh. me throw that in there. Shoop. Put that in, mix that up. And, and then, it's gonna be uneven. You, you wanna know? crack an egg in there? Sure. Oh, you want me to do it over here? Oh, just put it right in there. Mix that up. Mix that around, get that going. Get rid of that. <laughs> and you can throw in a, a shot of glass of Vodka, vodka. Kind of spoil but that you around. don't want to drink it. You want to use it for the... Yeah, you can have your own vodka later. Oh, yeah, or yeah. you have your own I vodka. have that. There's something in this. I'll just pour it in there. It doesn't matter. Good. Yeah. You want to just drizzle around there. And then I think we're going to need a little bit more water fast. If you want to just sure. grab a couple tablespoons of water. because. Uh, and you want this to be kind of crumbly. Because this, this is not only your bottom, 
It's also your top. Oh. So you could say that it's this a is versatile. versatile. Crust. Yes. Throw that right in there. Okay. There you go. Thusly. Plop it thusly. Yeah. So this is like a vanilla cookie. It's kind of like between a cookie and a crust, really, right? Yeah. Because it's a little moister than a crust. But it's chewy like a cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all have already had this. Oh, Do you yeah. make this dessert up yourself? Everything that we make on the show, we do it three times. We do it once for right. to develop the recipe, then once to make it so you have it ready at the end of the episode, mm -hmm. and then right now what we're doing on camera. Oh, really? So have y'all... What's the favorite thing you've ever made on your show? You this! Think, oh. I really like this a lot. This so is really delicious. So you think you'd go back and make this, the Nicole yeah. this is something, Blueberry Bar. Bye. This is definitely something I would take <laughs> to like a summer party, anywhere people would be like, oh, this is so good. Oh. So this is about ready. And uh, so we're gonna take half of this and we're gonna put it on the bottom of the pan. There we go. So here I'll put, so just start grabbing some and just pressing it into the bottom of the pan. <laughs> She's just like, okay. what? Well, you, we learn by doing, right? Yes. There you go. Or hiring people to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I just squished some butter out. Mm. Where you feel like little yeah, chunks of butter, that's going to that's gonna explode, and that's going to be like some flakiness that you're going to really like. Yum. What keeps sticking to my And you finger? want this to be nice and thin. Because otherwise it gets it gets very chewy. Mm. So like a oh, and then we do you want some in this little corner over here. Yeah, Let me put some over way. there. Okay. Right? Yeah, we're good. And that's good. Let me flip it around. Flip that shit. Okay. And you have a little bit there. And so you want to just kind of like you can also take. Um, but don't overwork it. Like a cup or something and roll it around to make it smoother, but it's yeah, nice where there's a little bit of texture. It's gonna be to covered, it. so nobody's gonna see yeah. if it's smooth or not. It's not gonna matter. And give me a little bit over here. And then we're gonna need to uh, pre-bake this uh, for a little bit in the oven for about 10 minutes so, you know, it gets a little goldeny, especially around the sides. Okay. Good. All right, so uh, Nicole, will you pop that in the oven? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'll open the oven for you. <laughs> when people talk about me, they say that I'm the, they describe me as the mouth of the South or, you know, Vegas showgirl. The way I decided on my name was there was, I was deciding between two, Danielle and Nicole. They were both girls from high school that I liked. First off, I would like to say welcome to Nicole Page Brooks Woo! from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. me again. On my audition video, I said, I'm Nicole Page Brooks from Atlanta, Georgia. RuPaul, when she first met me, she goes, and Nicole Page Brooks from Atlanta. She said it just like my audition video. She made it happen. A good drag queen to me is just entertaining in any way, shape, or form. I think if you can get a reaction out of me, then, then you're a good drag queen. If you make me laugh, if you can like make me just stare at you because you're just lovely. A lot of people can just stand, stand there and just be lovely and make me just, I just love a, a, an illusion. So this is uh, the, our cream cheese filling. Uh, it's gonna be between the two layers of the cookie and then the blueberry topping. It's, we start off with uh, basically three bars of cream cheese. It's 24 ounces. So you wanna throw that into here? Mm -hmm. So you, might need, you might need that, yes. Can you get it in there? I can get it in there. <laughs> Work it. Push it. <laughs> Am I allowed to just throw the whole bowl in? No, yeah, just throw it all in. There we go. Nice. And then, that was so graceful. And then, and then with then a, a cup of sugar. Well, this thing's kind of in the way. It is, it is in the well, way. Why sometimes, take it out? sometimes I take it out. I work around it, you know? I like it. Okay. It's just kind of there. Yeah, make You're it, driving people crazy make at it, home. Make it you easy. You do this. Make it easy. And put it in there, and then you put the thing afterwards. Yeah. And then why don't you crack two eggs in, into this little bowl, and then we'll make sure we don't have any, you know, eggshells, and then we'll throw okay. it into there. Okay. Well, you said two. Okay, two, yeah. And we're gonna cream this and then we'll add the eggs. Cause you don't wanna overbeat your eggs. Oh really, yeah. is that a thing too? Yeah, that's it. cause you, the, the eggs kind of, uh, you don't wanna destroy the proteins if you overmix it. Put so it we'll in there. That. Is that really a thing? It's yeah. a thing. Yeah, denature. You learn stuff here at Cooking with Drag Queens that you never ever knew before. 
And having one of these like big mixers is really nice because it, it you makes- You just walk away. You can just walk away. You can have a little cocktail. And be <laughs> like, like a vanilla. <laughs> How you doing, Nicole Page Brooks? When does the vanilla go in? We'll put it in with the eggs. Oh. And so you want to also too, like with this is, uh, you want to scrape the sides a little bit. And so. taste it. Well, I'll, I'll taste Before it after the vanilla. Egg. You want to taste it? Go ahead, taste it. Oh my goodness. Have Stick a your bit. finger in there. Oh, I bet that's so good. <laughs> just cream cheese and sugar. You know the way to uh, Nicole Page Brooks's heart is through cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I love sour cream, cream cheese. Yeah. Goat cheese. Oh my god. I love a good goat cheese pizza. I had goat cheese in my omelet this morning with mushrooms and tomato and oh, garlic good. and oh, spinach. The guy was like, I think you you got enough in there. It's so creamy. Mm -hmm. We'll scrape it one more time and then we'll add the uh, vanilla. Will you put a teaspoon of vanilla in there? And then okay. also the, the eggs. It says there one teaspoon. It does, look at egg on my finger. It was kind of gross looking. It didn't really look right <laughs> at all. It was not very like right looking. Okay. And just go around this big, huge just thing that's an it. obstacle just in the put way. put it right on it. Just, yeah, let it drip mm. right off of there it. There you go, let it just drip into there. <laughs> All right, we'll stir it up. Oh, you want these eggs? We'll put the eggs in, too. Oh, you wait for me to do that? Okay, yeah. well, you don't do anything. You just well, stand just, there, okay? I'm, 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 work, I'm the man, I'm working the just machine. Just watch me do all this. <laughs> It's for the children. The children want to see children. the drag queens actually work. do they the want work. To do the, oh my goodness, look at her. She lifted two eggs into a bowl. <laughs> Who knew it was just possible? Like, like Trixie Mattel going, what's next? Oh, really? What's yeah. next? No, it's, it's better to get them to yeah. uh, watch the episode so they know what they're going to do. Yeah. It looks kind of yummy. Oh you my want God, to scrape some of that stuff off that? Are you supposed to know it's got egg in it, though? You know, a little bit of eggs is mm. not going to kill you. Yeah, I guess it? people do drink them, right? Yeah. They drink raw eggs. But... Well, the thing about like uh, having raw eggs is that Let's there's see. always a risk that you can catch salmonella poisoning. Right. Um, but... but the way eggs are harvested, I guess, and refrigerated today, it, the chances are very, very low. Right. Still, for you know safety precautions, you don't want to tell people to uh, have raw eggs, but I eat raw eggs all the time and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm also, still here. So it's also a time factor if you like, if you crack an egg and it's raw and you leave it sit for hours, then maybe you might get some salmonella or something because yeah. it takes time to grow. But if you, you, there's a salmonella in a lot of things, so small amounts you can handle. It's when it's, a, it's, when it's huge it's amounts. It tastes with the blueberry. Oh yeah, stick that in there. That's mm. how it's supposed to be. Mm. Can I try some too? No, back away. Don't touch me. Leave me. I want to see what it tastes like. I believe you. Oh, you want me to me, feed you? Yeah, give me a Y'all are putting me the fuck to work. <laughs> Next you're going to have me serving this shit, too. Like, I, like this is oh, a restaurant. It's called cooking with it? drag queens. That is really good. for drag Yeah, it's queens. cooking with. Not, oh. With, with. Oh, with. Oh, not cooking for. Right. Yeah. Damn, I got to read this. You're like, just lucky it's not cooking drag queens. Cooking drag queens. When I get ready, I just get ready, honey. I don't do all these tricks. I was watching some of these tutorials that, I mean, four hours before you put your foundation on, come on now. You haven't got your top lip on yet either. Oh. Yes, I do. I just don't need one because the rest of my face is so lovely. Some people need spackle and smoke and mirrors and not contouring. I just have these cheekbones and this, this face already. We are on our way to the Valparaiso. I mean, no, I'm saying that wrong. Valparaiso. University's oh, second annual drag queen and king show, where Tranica is hosting, who I am working with tomorrow night at Berlin. And so they called me, or messaged me, and asked if I would come. And I said yes. So I'm going to go and perform for the children. I'm doing People Like Us in my graffiti dress. Same thing I did for Pride at Atlanta, for Atlanta Pride. And I always trip, I always get stuck in this dress, so. Let's see if I can get out of there without stumbling this time. Keep cool. checking on that crust. <laughs> we got so this. So is this to your taste? I think that looks good because you see a little brownness around the edge. So okay. you want that. Just so you want to put this brown. on a nice cool counter. Yeah. Brown. 
And are we gonna let this cool off? No, or? you can go right into it. Really? Uh, go right into it. Nice yeah, you and don't, hot. You don't have to wait. Okay. Because it's 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 part of the cooking process. Because the rest of this is gonna go pretty quickly. <laughs> this is heavy. No Just killing. Spread it in there, girl. Spread it good. Plop it thusly. And you want to sort of uh, spread it around so you don't have to do a lot of like smoothing. You sure are demanding for not doing any of this. You know what my dad used hot? to do? Don't it's touch hot. that. He would yell at me because I left too much batter in the bowl. He says, look, you could feed another person with all this. Look at this. Waste not, want not. Yeah. Okay, well you get that so that you don't get traumatized anymore. My dad always taught <laughs> me to, to uh, my dad and I used to make cakes together when I was a little kid. Aw. Yeah. Before he got too old to. Who baked in your family when you were, or who cooked in your family, Nicole, when you were? My mother up? was a restaurant manager, so I just really um, ate at a lot of restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> so you but just she, got to she, order she I mean, she was a big holiday person. She's, we're, I'm Catholic, so we're like holiday Catholics, you know, mm -hmm. Easter, Christmas, and stuff, midnight mass, and such. So we were big, she, big Italian food. And my oh, dad, you're Italian, huh? Yeah, Italian, Puerto Rican. You're Puerto Rican? I'm what? A, I'm a quarter porter. Hola to all my Puerto Rican fans. A quarter porter? I had no idea. You were, you were, yes. were your father or your mom? My mother. Where is she in Puerto Rico? Is she from? Um, the center of town. <laughs> San Juan? That one she was born corner. in California. Her, my, oh, okay. her and her sister are the like 1,000th twin or something born in the, or something. They were in the paper and all that kind of crazy stuff. What, there was a 1,000th twin born in Puerto I don't know, or something? Something? no, in California. When it, oh. Going just all the way squished up against the edge. Yeah, up yeah, against yeah. The edge. get it nice and smooth. And Mark, has, Mark, you think like shaking and Sometimes, snacking. Sometimes, you know, yeah, when like, you do a key, cheesecake, but see, this is not as uh, runny as a cheesecake, right? Because when you make your cheesecake, it's more liquidy than this, isn't it? Nicole? I think it's pretty thick when I put it in the thing. Yeah. But this is but funny, because you have remember. I do it in the brown pan thing. Oh, the springform pan. Yeah, yeah. and it just comes off. So now we just wanted to cool this because it was it was hot and it's it's not like completely cool, but it's like not boiling hot. So you're just gonna so want to spread that around. So this is a little thing. So a lot of people are are very tempted to just put it in the center and then spread it around. What I like to do is you put it from the outside in. Let's get you a clean one of these to spread. And little puddles. <laughs> Lick that a little bit more. Here. See? So it becomes a lot easier <laughs> to. Uh, Spread it around. Yes, clever. Clever girl. I would just pour it right in the middle and just wash the ooze. Well, the problem is I think it with, with putting it in the middle is that it kind of like gets a lot of blueberry in the middle of the thing and then it doesn't um, um, get it spread up. Oh, so now you can berries, spread that down. Yeah. You can put that all the way up to the edge. And this is the part that if you have kids, get them to do this because this is a lot of fun. Do you think you have a lot of kid followers or parents? Well, you know, you have kids hanging out in your house, right? That's true. Yeah. So this is a good thing that you can make with the kids because it's like... Get out of my way in the kitchen, don't bother me. You don't want them? No. Oh. <laughs> but you can put them to work. So oh, that's that afterwards, doing dishes and check stuff. Check this out, ready? I believe the children of the future. This. Give them Shit. chores. And it's them. one of those things. You can teach somebody to paint fish and they're a fish for a day, or you can teach somebody how to paint, you know, fish and... Wait, no, how does that go? Okay, so you can paint somebody a fish and they're a fish for a day, but you can teach somebody how to paint fish and they're fishy forever. I think you can teach them, you can give somebody a fish or you can teach them to fish. Okay, so you. But I'm not a lesbian. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, the vanilla cookie crumbly pie crust stuff. Now you take this and you're just mm. going to evenly spread that around, just like a streusel topping on a coffee cake. Try that, guys. Okay. Have fun. Share it with Mark. Oops. Here, Mark. Here. Put some in there. Bam. And you want to get this all over, so in tiny little pieces. Little pieces, little pieces. You don't want big chunkies. Yeah. No big chunks. Oh, okay. So, we might have put a little bit too much vodka because you want to get a little bit crumbly, but this is good. I think we added another thing of water. The vodka, I think, is always Oh, yeah, the, vo the, the vodka is always good. Never enough of that. So you want to put this in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And check on it, it might be a little bit longer depending on your oven because you want this to be a nice hot. golden brown on top. And here we have delicious slab pie, vanilla 
blueberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. That does look good. It is good. a great dish and dessert to serve to your friends. Good for your church. Your neighbors. For your uh, enemies and yes. win them over. Yes, because I always feed my enemies. <laughs> it's important. Like, I'm at home baking friends. all day Make for peace. people I hate. So, <laughs> <laughs> not. So, so Nicole, we're, we have a challenge for you. So okay. we have some lemon vodka infused whipped cream. Mm -hmm. We have some fresh blueberries, mm -hmm. and we have some mint that we grew. I in feel like every time you concrete. say vodka, I have to drink. It's like a drinking game. Sorry. And we have some mint that we grew in the backyard here. Uh -huh. And so we want you to arrange it aesthetically pleasing in a plate. Can you? Are you up to the oh, challenge? I thought we we're doing this. Yeah. Don't we're gonna put this all together. There? No, no, no. You're oh, gonna no. serve. You're gonna serve us. So oh, here's, I have to do like a it's a, um, yes. cooking yeah. challenge. And so the now. people who are watching this video can comment and say if they think that. Oh, Nicole how Brooks fabulous nice. my decor was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all are gonna judge me. <laughs> it's the internet. Everything. Like on your the internet RuPaul is or something. We're not gonna. I'm gonna listen. No I can how, cut through this thing. Yeah, that's nice. You're all right. That's good. Going. Are you sure that was the bottom of the pan? Yeah. Yeah. Now Scrape gonna... it in there. Y'all really are not much help. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that's got to do it. It's a cooking school for you. I we know how to make this. We, we already made it for you. If I get a fucking bill for this education, I'm going to be <laughs> over it. Get home and there's a... <laughs> You'll be paying off the there's student a... loan for the rest of your life. You have a $3,000 cooking school bill. <laughs> what? You <laughs> tricked my ass. <laughs> I don't think I've cut all the way through. Y'all really. Well, you can use the spatula to also kind of dig it in. See, I never, ever, ever worked in restaurants or anything like that because my whole family did. Okay. And I never wanted to be in food service. Come on, service. Mama. I never want Never wanted dessert. to be in food service, and here I am serving y'all. Okay, do you think I can get through this? This is good. I think How you got you it. Out of there? I think you're there, girl. Yes. Watch me sling this thing across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Get under there. I don't think Come so. Come on, girl. You got it. You got it. Y'all are killing. You can do this. They got this at the <laughs> thing. You, go. you got it. Oh, no. I think I got like half of it. See? Okay, I'm not so we'll only through. One. We'll see. Here. Where's this? I almost got it. Why don't you okay. use that centerpiece Yeah, I want that center one. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's really good. And remember, there we don't go. fuck it up. This is the, this is the money go. shot. Uh -huh. This is the money one. one. Do that right one. Right there. Okay, so and then this now I'm going to wham this one up. You want to get those extra oh pieces God, so out? Good. Let's get rid of this one. I haven't already eaten that one. That's all right. We'll put it back. Mm. Okay, Nicole. So you have a pretty one here. Well, until you and now you got. You can also put lemon zest too on top. I right, see. So let me wham this up. Okay. You got that? So uh -huh. you're gonna put it onto the side. Are you gonna narrate it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Lastly. Look how pretty that looks. And you can also... I like uh, a lot of whipped cream, so... You can zest some lim limes. Put the, put the thought, blueberries on top. Hold on. I thought what? you said this was how I want to decorate. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Why don't you okay, decorate your own and we do comparison judging and we see who's wins. How no, you, I'm just helping okay. you. Don't look how I cheat. Don't look at my for ideas. <laughs> Shady bitches. <laughs> see, this is what they do. They're like, oh, yeah, you go decorate one and then they go wham yours up even better. Like... Oh. A, would you like a sprig of mint for the top? Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. I'm just holding, offering you a sprig. I think of you're mint. trying to set me up. Oh, you, this is the sprig you think I should yeah. use? Yeah. Put a little bit on top. Look how cute that looks. Aww. So this is Nicole Page Brooks plated. Blueberry vanilla cookie cheesecake pie. Slab pie. Slab I really pie. think we should streamline that name. How, what should we call it? What's a better uh, way to call it? Brooks blueberry pie. Ooh. Cheesecake. Oh. Slab. My goodness. Cookie crust. And give me some of those fresh. What are the initials? Can we call it a CC? Cookie crust CC. CCC. Three C's. The cheesecake cookie crust. From Atlanta, Georgia. From Atlanta, Georgia. Three C's Blueberry Brooks Pie Slab. So try it. T t oh, taste it. I already ate taste. some whenever. Did you like it? I got pushed. That wasn't any good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I gotta say, this is pretty good. This is really yeah. good. Do you like the lemon? Mm hmm. Was it hard to get eliminated, mm -hmm. like emotionally? No, I was ready to go home. 
You were done with it. But you were only there for two episodes, weren't you? I've never had. I don't like. I don't like being away from my child like that. I had never been away from him before. I was having panic attacks every night. Really? I was waking up every hour on the hour. Aww. I mean, he hadn't called nobody and check. It was just very. So as soon as I was like, saw that stripper pole, I was like, okay, well I know. You're I done. I'm not. I'm not doing this right. Well, we have a stripper pole for you here. Oh yeah, for yeah. me, I'm sure. It's a little bit different. They brought it in just for me. Um, Nicole Page Brooks. You know. I'm inhaling this thing like we got, away from me. We got to taste your pie, and it was delicious, delectable, divine, the groovy, the gorgeous. It was always baked, sweet and moist, fruity and flaky, but most of all, delicious. We'd like to present to you a medal of accomplishment and distinction. <laughs> which is, you know, all truth tellers don't have. Or... How does that thing with the Wizard of Oz I think I squished go? a grape or something. <laughs> a blueberry. Oh, the blueberry. <laughs> Look how nice that looks. Like. Congratulations, girl. I am a gay you really did it. prize winner thing. And, <laughs> you know, cooking with drag queens is Does funded. everybody get a medal or is this just something y'all did for me? Just, just for, for the you. For, just for the people that actually participate and are able to make the dish. Oh, really? We so also have for you a cooking, <laughs> a a a cooking with drag eyes. queens t-shirt. Oh, that is sweet. This is what you asked for my size. Do you like pink? One? I do like pink. It's small because you're small, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though like you're a everything. tall girl, you're, you're, you're thin. Everything tight. A little tote bag so you can carry your makeup in. And then and also, all this available on your website? It is. Feastofun.com. Uh, Everybody's been wanting to be dressing like me. <laughs> and so remember, guys, that the merchandise that we sell helps to pay for cooking with drag queens. We could not do any of these episodes if it wasn't for the financial support mm. of fabulous viewers like you. That's because the that. YouTube ads, they don't even cover the vodka that we poured into this queen here. <laughs> <laughs> and next time you're roasting a chicken, you can wear your cooking with drag mm -hmm. queen's apron. People will be like, what's that? And be like, oh, it's a TV show I did. I'll have mm -hmm. people over and I'll be like, look, y'all are cooking with a drag queen. They won't even know. <laughs> and until I pull that out. They'll be like, what? You're a drag queen? I thought you were a woman. <laughs> What does that mean? You have a penis? <laughs> yes, that's why we're having blueberry for my penis. I Let hope. me tell you about tucking. So does does this? Are you guys feeling like a little bit of circulation improvement? I do. Oh, that's just because I'm standing here. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting a little engorged down there. Yeah. So remember, folks, if you can't cook for yourself, how the hell you're gonna cook for somebody else? Can I get a bon appetit up in here? Bon, bon appetit. appetit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really say that every time. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Bye, and you can't everybody. cook for somebody else, go through a drive through like I do. <laughs> <laughs> eat alone. <laughs> Bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye. Oh, this really was good. Y'all should try to make it. I've had a really blessed fucking drag career. It's just like, this was never in my life what I thought was going to happen to me. I was, right now, I should be running, you know, corporate Macy's riches. Federated right now is what I was supposed to be doing, but Nicole just avalanched and I just kept saying yes to what I was asked to do.